Hey everyone, it's Deb here from Deb's Greenhouse. Michael from HiQ Greenhouses. And today we're going to talk about calcium nitrate and calcium deficiencies in your plants. Calcium nitrate, why would we need it? How do you know if you need it? That's right. How do you know if you need it? So if you brought plants in from downstairs, geraniums that you overwintered, dahlias, begonias that have been started in February, the bulbs, the, 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 the ones that from other years, and they come out, they're starting to grow, and everything looks good, and all of a sudden you're getting some white foliage at the top, at the top of the plant. And the new leaves. The new leaves, yes. The new so leaves the, so, emerging. Yeah, the new leaves emerging are very, very white. And you go like, oh, what's that? And that's a calcium deficiency. Uh, I want to say often it's believed it's a nitrogen or a low fertilizer. That's right. But the, the missing element is calcium yeah. nitrate when the leaf when the leaf turns white yeah just like this yep yeah so this one is a perfect example for us to uh, enhance the soil with calcium nitrate mm -hmm. uh, this geranium is one that i overwintered it's a personal geranium of mine it's one of my tulip or popcorn geraniums and so i had this all winter in the greenhouse store and it was nice and green all winter. Yeah. It wasn't until I actually brought it out into the sun That's right. and we started getting a lot of growth on it that I could see the deficiency. Yeah, so I mean, you may have some geraniums that you've kept. Uh, you may have some begonias that are just starting to emerge from their last year's uh, root or bulb yeah. and it's together with dahlia. So uh, th those are the things that could show this whiteness. And this is specifically calcium when it is very, very white, yes. super white leaf. Yes. Um, okay, so how how do we treat it? What is um, the timeline for treating it? How many times do you treat it? Yes, that's what we'll be answering for you. Right. So this is what the problem is: is those white new leaves emerging? And we need the scale. We need the scale. So um, calcium nitrate uh, is uh, available to commercial growers from. Uh, from uh, our suppliers, mm -hmm. but we looked it up and you can also find it online. Yeah. So uh, Debbie will put in a link. It's a, a granular, white granular. It's uh, just little beads. Compen. Yeah, it's not a chemical. No. It's, it's fertilizer. Yeah, that's uh, naturally made. And um, uh, ha, ha, there's a specific method to dissolving calcium nitrate. These hard beads don't dissolve very well. So we boiled some water. We did. First though, we, you have to weigh it. Yes. You have to weigh a lot of the fertilizers. This goes for if you're a homeowner, gardener, or if you're a commercial greenhouse. So we are going to mix this up the way that you would if you were just going to pour it directly on the plants. Yes, in a water, using a watering using can. Using a watering can, yeah, or a tub. Yeah. For measuring this out, we always measure things in concentrated formulas. Yes. Because we're doing large stock tanks. Yes. So for our injector, we use 80 grams per liter. That's at one to 100, that's 100 times. For mixing it in your watering can, you only would only, you would divide that 80 by 100, which is less than one gram. So it's 0 0 0.8, 0 0.8 gram of a liter. So that's very small, but you're hardly ever going right. to make one liter at a time. Your watering can could be 10 liters. So, you know, it could be eight grams in, in 10 liters. That's right. So for one liter, which a watering can isn't even that small, it would be 0.8. So it barely turn the dial on here. Now you could use a smaller kitchen uh, scale, which we've done in the past. Yep. But again, we always do things in larger batches. So we would use a larger amount. So 0.8 grams per liter for one liter. Now, to make up one liter, you're going to mix 0 0.08 grams of calcium nitrate, dissolve that in your water. But for 10 liters, which is a better amount to mix up, so you can water more things, you would need eight grams. Eight grams still barely shows up on the scale. But if you use a kitchen scale, it, it, it's more accurate. That's right, more accurate. that's right. And of course you could make a 100 liter stock or a, a drum, plastic drum, which is, which is 200 liters, and then use that to scoop out of, you know, if you didn't have a small scale uh, to use and measure out a small amount. And even if you went over a little bit, you know, it wouldn't hurt the plant. Yeah, um, so 0.8 per liter, which in an injector at one to 100 equals 80 grams per liter. Of stock. Of yeah. stock, concentrated stock. 
and eight grams uh, looks about like this in on small. our particular one so a very small amount we're in canada you need to do the conversion if you're using um, the standard system yeah. so because it's such hard beads we do have to dissolve it in hot water and if you're if you're not dissolving it in hot water it will take a long time it well what will happen is some of the nutrients will stay in the bottom of, uh, of your container they will not completely dissolve and mix with the water Right. So, you know, the beads would stay in the bottom and, and it's quite obvious, even if we pour hot water in, that the beads, if I'll let Debbie pour the hot water in to the liter mark. No, we're just going to put a little in. Oh, okay. Dissolve it and then, oh, okay. kind of like making jello, yeah. dissolve it in hot water and then we're just going to add regular water so it's cool enough we can pour it right on the pots. Right. Otherwise, well, we have true. to let it cool that's off. True. So, so, so this is... Uh, as you can see, the beads, the beads are still in the bottom and this has been in the hot water for a little while. So I, I'm using a wooden spoon uh, to, to dissolve the beads and it's taken a bit of stirring, you know, to get them to dissolve. Yeah. So we're now 10 seconds in or so and I 15 seconds and then all the beads. Oops. Pretty much. There's yeah. a little bit left in the yeah. bottom. Yeah. So you, you can see it takes a while. So don't worry. Uh, that you've purchased the wrong material or something if if it doesn't dissolve right away here we go and we've tried mixing it just in like our room temperature water and yep. it it really never fully dissolves no, like there's doesn't. always a little bit on the bottom we're going to top it up to a liter then it's ready to pour into the plants so this is how you're going to mix it if you're mixing it at home be sure to give it a stir we want it to be totally dissolved. A nice solution. Yep. And then it's ready to pour into our plants. Now, when you have a plant that is has this much deficiency that you can see, what I did is for five days in a row while watering, I always had calcium nitrate in the water. And in a commercial greenhouse setting, you are going to mix it slightly different because most of us use an injector system. If you're not using an injector, we highly recommend it. If you're a commercial greenhouse, it would be very cumbersome to be doing, you know, this slow of, yeah, of watering yeah. on your whole crop. Yeah, we, we do have some, some customers who have like large barrels, like thousand liter barrels or yeah. something like that. Uh, and then you would just have to do the math. So when, when you're a commercial grower, so we have shown you eight grams per liter is if you're mixing it and pouring it directly on. But now you were doing this for five days in a row every time that the plant yeah. needed water. Yeah. So and, and how often did you do it? How long did you do it? I probably watered it every other day. Every other so day. So it's only getting three days of water on that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my regular fertilizer and two days a week I will be fertilizing with calcium nitrate exclusively. And the other five days a week, I will... So on the weekends, I'm going to use calcium nitrate. And when I water through the weekdays, I'm going to use um, our regular fertilizer. Yeah, so, so most of our injectors in commercial settings are set for 1 to 100. That's right. That means that the fertilizer in your barrel below is 100 times stronger. If you have one injector, Debbie is, has two barrels underneath her injector. Mm -hmm. And in, for five days a week, she has the suction hose in one barrel. And then, on the, like she said, on Saturday and Sunday, she has it in the other barrel. That's right. Um, there's also something that we didn't mention about calcium nitrate. Right. Where we live here in Alberta, we need to use calcium nitrate up to about mid-April. Then our daylight is long enough. We don't need calcium nitrate anymore. So the, the, defici the deficiency in calcium nitrate is, um, goes hand in hand with the hours of daylight that the plants are getting. Yes. Plus the, the strain of it being in your basement or yeah. in, in low light conditions, even if you had grow lights on it. It's not the same, doesn't supplement or doesn't substitute for the, for the sun, that uh, those, uh, those plants will, could come out with these white leaves. Right. And so for home gardeners and for commercial growers, from the time you start planting in the new year up until April 15th in our area, you need to be using calcium nitrate to have the most robust plants. That's so they're right. not showing That's deficiency. Right. And calcium works the same for plants as it does for humans. It provides strength and uh, to, uh, it, it, it provides a, like a nice strong green plant. Yes. Okay. So now we want to show, we have a lot of commercial growers yes. that watch our show. So thank you for tuning in to our gardening show. 
you've had feedback um, when you have customers come picking up from you during yes. the week. You're getting feedback. Yes. Uh, that they're they're loving it. Yeah, they are. We do get messages from greenhouse growers all over North America asking more in-depth questions later. So we thought we'd incorporate that portion into this show. Yes. So as a commercial grower, you're using an injector. We'll show a picture of an injector, and that is sucking the fertilizers out at 100 to 1. So we mix it 100 times stronger and the injector has it going through the hose at the right amount. That's correct. That's correct. 99 parts of water will go by and one part of, of fertilizer. Right. Yeah. So then in this container, we have pre-mixed 80 grams of calcium nitrate in one liter of water. That's right. Because... That's how we use it in the injector. That's right. Now we can't pour this straight on the plants. Nope. That's too strong. Yes. But for the injector, this is perfect. And the injector is set at 1% or 1 to 100. Yes. Okay, so it's very important as a greenhouse grower and a homeowner that you're not mixing your fertilizer and your calcium nitrate together. They don't, they're not conducive. No. They do not blend. No. And it doesn't create some sort of chemical reaction. It's not no, that no, it's no. a safety issue. No. They, um, we're, we, we're gonna show you what happens. So we also mixed um 100 times stronger our fertilizer so normally michael we'd mix our nature source fertilizer yes per liter it's yes so you you two milliliters of the concentrate mils. per That's liter it. very yeah. small amount yes because it's super concentrated yes so so uh, we're going to talk more in depth about fertilizer next so, week yeah so save your questions for that but the nature source is a liquid Mm -hmm. So it would dissolve immediately in water. We don't have to heat it up. You nope. can mix it at cool or room temperature water. That's right. Um, in a watering can, again, two milliliters per liter is normal fertilizing. For a greenhouse grower who's injecting it at one to 100, 200 milliliters per liter. Yes. And you have to have two separate tubs and you move the hose from one to the other. And if you don't, like when I made my first batch this year, I forgot about it and we'll show you what happens. Yes. It was, it's surprising the reaction. Yes. It might take a few minutes. Yeah, it, it may take a few minutes and uh, you know, but you, what happens is the, some of the parts of the fertilizer that are incompatible are binding together and making something new, you know, which is uh, actually a gypsum or yes. like it, it, it's, a, it's a white, uh, a bit of a white slurry. And, uh, you know, there's quite a bit of water in here. It will you know. clog up your yep. injection system. It will. And because the, the two are now together, they, uh, it is that they're, they are no longer effective because That's now right. they've neutralized each other. That's right. So, so you oh, can, can see here. See yeah. I can see it happening. You it's can getting see cloudy. It here. Yeah, it's getting cloudy. So, and instead of a, a nice brown color, uh, you're going to see that, oops, oh. that it is a, uh, a white brown color. Let's bring it, it back a little bit. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can see the two, uh, you can see a cloudiness. You can actually. see it getting thicker. Yeah. You can, it, it, there's cloudiness in, in, in the water. Hopefully you can see that. And that is the uh, reaction of the two fertilizers that have now neutralized each other. So, yeah, so they're not going to do their job. No. And as you can see, we could safely blend this. Uh, nothing happens, no, no. explosions. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> but so it, it, but it, it, it's not going to do what it's meant it's, to do. No, that's yeah. right. That's right. And over time, it's just going to settle out in this whiteness. It's just going to settle at the bottom of your of your tank. For our homeowners, we put a link in for where you can, you, to show you what kind of calcium nitrate to get. You're getting 15.5-0-0. Now, for our commercial growers, you're getting the same thing. But you're going to get it in a bulk bag. In a bag. I, I would suggest calling Edwin from uh, 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 Evergrow. Uh, Evergrow, Nutrient, Nutrient Evergrow. Nutrient Evergrow. Yeah, that's in our area. But there's yeah. other uh, people that sell it as well. So, you know, where, whoever you're comfortable with, your like, supplier should have it. I like to buy things from Edwin. Yeah. You know, Edwin is a, is a grower at heart. Uh, yes. And uh, he's a salesman second. So he is, uh, he often has great advice. He has, he's fantastic. Yeah. He, he helps yeah. a lot. He's very practical. Yeah. Yeah, he'll only sell you what you need. So it's getting cloudier and cloudier. The longer we leave it, the, the more gypsum-like it will become. So, and it settle settles out. to the bottom. Yes, yeah. and this a couple of times. And as, yeah, and as you can see, you know, on this leaf, it's starting to green up. You see from the edges in, it's beginning to, to, green, to green up already. So it's only a couple of times the reaction will be, uh, the results will be uh, fairly quickly. It is going 
to take more treatments, but I'm not worried about it. I know that it is already starting to get green yep. and it will continue to. In between the calcium days, I'm going to be using our fertilizer. So I know that with both of these, it's going to get what it needs. Again, in our area here in basically central Alberta, mm -hmm. we are going to use calcium nitrate two days a week until mid-April. Yeah, but look right. at it now. Okay. You can see it's divided in the in the dish and it's quite heavy on the bottom and you can see through the top. That's what happens. You can see, you can see the white at the bottom. Yeah, how white that is yeah. and then it looks like tea on top. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what happens. I did my first batch that way because I didn't read the label right. Yet again, look okay. at how thick the, ca the, the mixture has become on the bottom. You see, look how... Uh, yeah, it is crazy thick. It's definitely two layers. Yeah, you can see, you can see, you can see the white at the bottom there. Yeah. Um, again, next week we're going to go over fertilizer. We get loads of questions every day, and we would like to just be able to tell you in one fell swoop yeah. um, what we use and how it works. So yeah. how, today was yeah. about. Yeah, go ahead. No, and 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 we we show how how it's applied, you know. But you'll have to tune in next week. Um, and as for the calcium nitrate, you would be watering your entire crop with that. You're not excluding any items at all. Everything will get a dose of calcium nitrate on those two days. The reason we do it for two days is because we might not need to water something every single day. Right. So when we do our baskets, when we water baskets, about every third day, I'm watering those basket lines. Um, so if you do it two days, two consecutive days, yeah. then you're, you're going to get one watering of calcium to a week, go, to the, a week uh, to the entire one, crop. One a week. And don't wait till the plant starts turning yellow, uh, even if, or white, I mean, yes. even before it turns white, it could already benefit from the calcium nitrate. I, so so start, start right away with the calcium nitrate till the middle of April for the best results. And I didn't because I ran out. Ah. So that's why mine turned white. And then I was like, oh, I need, right. I need to use yeah. calcium. Yeah, this is it. You forget, is it. You forget yeah, right. from year to year, yep. the things that you do. I call it amnesia because we haven't <laughs> done it for a whole year. And you have to find all the stuff that you, that you buried in the spring. Yeah. And, uh, but that, that's life. Yeah. And if you're in a more Southern area, that date might not be April 15th. It might be, um, an earlier Another cutoff date. for you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but this is just strictly for the uh, uh, our trading area, which is uh, northern Alberta. Yes, central yeah. northern. Yep. So, okay. Okay. That wraps up today. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Have a good day, guys. Bye. Bye.